Hi, I'm Tanya Rainier. I help aspiring entrepreneurs figure out what their dreams are made of so that they can go out there and make them happen. And today we're talking about the one fear that stops most people from making those dreams come true. That one fear is simple in theory, but hard to dissect. It's the fear of the unknown. We all have that fear. You're not alone. We all get nervous and feel feelings of anxiety when we're walking into a situation that's uncomfortable, when we don't know what the outcome is going to be. We all wish we had a crystal ball to look into and guarantee that success was inevitable, but we don't. So we have to take those leaps on faith. And doing that is a little bit easier if you start by identifying where those feelings of anxiety are coming from in the first place. Chances are it's one of two places. That fear is coming from either the fear of the unknown in the event of failure or the fear of the unknown in the event of success. Now, if it's coming from a place of fear of failure, you are thinking thoughts like, what if I bomb this and people judge me? What if I get rejected? What if I fail somebody? Maybe there's somebody in your life that you always are trying to impress or gain the approval of. What are they going to think of you if you fail? What's going to happen to your relationships? What's going to happen to your security, your financial status? Are you going to lose everything by taking this risk? These are all really legitimate concerns, but they're the easier ones to overcome. By first identifying them and then doing mindset work, doing your affirmations, your visualization, and just changing your self-talk, you can start to reprogram your mind to see a different perspective when it comes to those things so that it's not as scary and they don't pop up and give you knots in your stomach quite as much as they once did. Fear of success, on the other hand, is a little bit harder to diagnose because those are usually so deep rooted within us that we often don't even realize that we're feeling fears that are a result of not knowing what's going to happen if we succeed. And that usually is from childhood memories and things that we've associated. So we might be afraid that we're going to change if we're successful. Perhaps when we were growing up, there was somebody we knew that was really successful, but they were a mean old grouch. And we're afraid that that's going to happen to us. Or we're afraid that success is going to take us away from everything we love because the person we knew growing up worked so many hours to be successful that they had no life. Or maybe we're afraid that it's going to damage our relationships because we hear the way people around us talk about the successful people we know. And you see what happens when somebody leaves your circle and goes on to bigger and better things. They're like shunned. And you're afraid that that's going to happen to you. They are not always loud voices where you can hear them and you can recognize these fears. Like I said, they're deeply rooted, so it really takes some work to get into your inner being and figure out where it's coming from. Some of the questions you can ask yourself are these. Number one, what are my options? Knowing that this life that you live in is yours and it's not going anywhere. You know what this life looks like. You can always come back to it if things don't work out. And as you take steps along your new journey, they're gonna be baby steps. And everybody along with you, the friends and the family in your circle, as long as you keep them with you and close to you as you take these steps, they're gonna come along with you. So it's not gonna be a sudden shock, it'll be a gradual transition and everybody will be on board. But knowing that you have options along the way gives you a little bit of security. It's like an insurance policy. Knowing that if you take a couple steps down that road and you find it's not for you, you still have the opportunity to turn back and go back to your old life. It's there for you. 
The second question I want you to ask yourself is what are my values? Why am I considering doing this in the first place? Are your family the most important people in your life? Are they the reason you do everything? If so, is this new opportunity going to benefit your family in ways that you wouldn't be able to give to them without it? If that's the case, well, then this is probably the right decision for you. If you value above and beyond anything else, freedom of time and financial freedom and security and control, is this new opportunity going to give you those things? If so, well, then I think you have your answer. Identifying your why and connecting this opportunity to it will help that decision be that much easier and working through that will help you uncover what it is and why you're feeling halted where you are. What belief or fear is stopping you from getting you that much closer to being able to prioritize those values? Number three, will you regret this? Will you regret not doing this? Imagine yourself sitting on the porch in a rocking chair just taking a time out when you're 85 years old and thinking back on your life. While you're doing that, are you going to think back to this moment in time and regret not doing this? Not taking this chance? Are you going to think to yourself, man, I should have seized that opportunity while I had it. I should have just gotten over the fear and done it because my life could have been so much different. Think about that. Give that a couple of minutes of thought. The purpose of life is to live it to the fullest, to seize every moment and every opportunity so that you can have and do all the things that you've ever dreamed. And those possibilities are there for you. The point is to not get to the end of your life and realize that you have a mountain of regret. Make sure that your decisions that you make today are getting you to a place of fulfillment at the end of the day. Now if you're getting ready to make a big change, check out the Abundance Journal. That is specifically what it's for, is to get you mentally prepared and confident to really make any dream in the world come true. I started using this myself probably about a year and a half ago and it has been a game changer. It has been so effective for me that I've shared it with friends and family and they've loved it so much that I put it together in a PDF download and I'm giving it to you for free. I've paired it with seven videos that help you to dissect each exercise and go really deep so that you understand what to do and how to do it so you can get the most out of the journal. Those videos are between five and 10 minutes so it doesn't take up much time, but it will change your life. You can get that at tanyareiner.com journal. If you loved this video, make sure you subscribe. You can do that on the website and you'll get access to all my new videos and content that I only share via email. So now I would love to hear from you. Are you getting ready to undergo a big change? If so, how can I help? Or have you recently undergone a big change, taken that leap of faith? What did you do to prepare yourself and how did it turn out? I would love to hear. And of course, I would be forever grateful if you shared this video with a friend. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I will look forward to seeing you again on the next video.